So in this video, I'm just going to set up the self-watering to choose a pot. So I've got all my pieces here ready. Uh, I don't have a tripod, so it's going to be tricky to sew this, but I'll try and do it on the floor. And this is just me setting up my self-watering pot. After this, there's also going to be another video of me potting up a plant into it. That'll be on a separate video. So first of all, I need to attach this watering tube to the bottom of this, which basically keeps the soil out of the tube but lets the water in so that it doesn't clog up the self-watering mechanism. I think that just pops in like so. There it is to its firm. Then the next stage that I need to go on to is attaching the this device which is the the rod that goes up and down the min-max reader like so. I just need to put a flotation device on the bottom so that it can go up and down as the water goes up and down, so just make sure that's secure, like that. Then I need to insert it into this tube, just like so, like that. And then my next step is I need to put the top one and just make sure it, this goes through the hole there, the red bit. So I'll just pull that through a little bit. So it feeds in. There it is. And that goes down firmly. Like that. And then we just need the min max to go on the top as well. Secured firmly. That's your min max reader. So that's that. So the detector fully set up. So now what I've already done is I have put in, I'll just take it out so you can see so this is the bottom of the, um, the pot and I just place in the self-watering section there and then I put in the, the column for the watering just on the side quite easily slots in so now all I need is to put that pre-assembled part down this tube so that it can measure the water goes all the way down to the bottom, just clips in like that so it's nice and flush and as you see when the water goes up, there's no water at the moment so it's below minimum when the water goes up this will rise and so how much water is in there and then we've got a little watering hole down here but there's also this cap we can put on top just to make sure no soil gets down there when we're watering or if you've left it and a little kid might throw something down there so that's that's the main component set up next is just the, the pond that they use here and that's the um, their own branded material, and that has to be scattered into the bottom, filling up all the holes so that it doesn't get too waterlogged, and it helps distribute the the moisture much better through the compost. So I'll just fill that, fill the bottom, any holes that are in there, and then just gently make sure the whole surface is covered. So that's it. They're ready for the compost. And that'll be the next step, and as I said, that'll be in another video, which I'm putting up about my frangipani. Which you can click on the link here for. Just there.